So what was your favorite event today? I'd say the four. Four. Oh, yeah! and, and you're watching... watching TV TV! Woo! Coach's Corner. I'm here with Emma Taylor. Emma, thanks for speaking with us. Now, how long have you been coaching rhythmic gymnastics for? About 15 years. So you have lots of experience and you've trained lots of girls. Now, how do you prepare girls for a competition like the Victorian Championships? Um, well, I guess it's a part of a big picture in a, in a year of, of events. Um, we have several state trials. This year we travelled to Perth for their state championships in the lead up to our state championships just to get a bit more competition experience, especially for the younger girls that, you know, the state championships is a, is a big event for them. So the more competitions they have under their belt, the more confident they feel. Excellent. And so after the Victorian Championships and Nationals, what is the next goal for these girls? Um, for the top girls, our top senior in Victoria is Taylor Tirajo, certainly Commonwealth Games. Um, I guess in the big picture Olympics in mm -hmm. Rio. Um, but yeah, for now we've got a couple of girls that are really focusing on Commonwealth Games. And what sort of competitions or trials do they have to go through to get to this Commonwealth Games? Um, at, they select a shadow squad from the Nationals um, and we'll have a training camp in December. And then um, next year there's Pacific Rim, which again need to be selected for the Australian team. But with three in Pacific Rim team and three in Commonwealth Games team, you know, if, if you can make that first team, you're looking pretty good for Commonwealth Games. Excellent. And lastly, how do you think the girls will go at the Victorian Championships? Um, hopefully really well. Um, we've got girls in most sections and in years before we've won every section that we've entered. So hopefully we can do that again this year. Well, good luck and thank you very much. Thanks. We're now here with the Rhythmic Gymnastics and I have Emma Taylor, a coach of 15 years, who's helping me commentate today. Emma. We've got Charlotte doing her ball routine. We've got a new code of points um, this year and the girls are all just becoming familiar with it. We've got some mastery there. So we've just seen her throw it up into the air. Is that a requirement that all the gymnasts have to do with their ball routine? Um, yes, you do have to have a variety of throws um, and every difficulty they have has to have different handling. So a bounce there in a balance you saw and then she did a throw in, a, in another balance. That's a risk element she's just done where the girls have to catch immediately after um, a rotation or during a rotation. These top level girls can have three risks in, um, in each routine. And that's mastery there, a catch behind, you know, out of sight and no hands. Nice attitude pivot. And then, just... yeah, some groundwork as well, obviously, in the routines. Yeah, they need variety of, of height and using all of the mat. Um, yeah, I know I've got Jamie doing her ball. Beautiful attitude pivot there. Another mastery. So these girls are using this as a great preparation for um, national championships coming up. Jamie and Charlotte are both very competitive you know, nationally, so it's good for them to have each other within the state to compete against. So she's doing some leaps in her routine. Um, how many leaps does a routine usually have? Um, well, the new code is far less structured. You used to have specific number for balances, leaps and pivots, but now um, it's much more flexible. They have to have at least two, at least two leaps, but some, some girls will have up to four. And we've got a very, very beautiful leotard there as well. <laughs> How many leotards do the girls usually have in a competition? Usually, the girls at this level usually have one for each apparatus, so four. And we've also, um, with this new code, got so the... We've got Emily Barrow up now. Yeah, she's using words with her, with her routine. That's a, that's a new introduction with this code, that the girls can have one of their four routines can have words. Um, OK, so different music. to the artistic gymnastics yeah, in that aspect. Yeah, very new, quite a dramatic change, I guess, to the old code. And as well, um, a lot of dance, there's a real emphasis on having a lot of dance in the routines and working with the music. Um, she yeah. looks like a very, very flexible, flexible girl. Gymnast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emily's got a lot of potential, beautiful flexibility. Um, that back split roll there, not many girls can do it as nicely as that. But they do have a lot of flexibility with what skills they can use. So the more flexible girls obviously use the really flexible skills, whereas other girls um, 
Yeah, certainly couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. She does it so well. Yeah. We've got Marley. Marley's our top junior. She was um, in the Australian team that won gold at AYOF at the start of the year. And she's really matured as a gymnast this year. Um, she's into senior next year, so she um, will have a big step up there. But went on to win um, a couple of finals medals at national, so really good, good warm-up for her here at Vix. Beautiful elevation on that leap. And how old is Marley here? Marley is 15. And so to become a senior, you have to be 16 years old? Yeah, the year you're yeah. turning 16, you have to go up to senior. Really nice wrist there. See how she caught straight after a, a rotation going into another rotation. And you get bonus points for connecting all these elements together? That's right. The more rotations you fit under your wrist, the, the higher your mark for that will be, but it has to be completed perfectly. George is um, a senior a senior elite. She's actually made the move from the national levels program into elite very successfully. She was the national champion, I think, for every level, seven, eight, nine and ten, and then moved over to senior just this year. She's done a really good job to make that transition. Um, I think she came to our VIX to compete against our top senior, who unfortunately was out with a stress fracture. So she came along and took our state championship away from us. <laughs> Next time. That's right. But you can see the level of skill here is, is quite substantial. Lots of pirouettes there in this routine. Yeah, that's another thing with our new code. If, if you're good at pivots, then you're going to do well because it's a really good way to build your mark um, on your sheet. So. Gym Talk. I'm here with Jamie Moss. Congratulations on Thank coming you. first at the Victorian Championships. Thanks. How did you feel when they put that medal around your neck? Very proud. Lots of hard work went into it. So. Excellent. And how long have you been doing gymnastics for? Ever since I was little, my mum got me into it. And yeah, she got a disco. Pretty flexy. Yep. <laughs> What's your favourite food? Um, pizza. Delicious. Uh, who's your favourite idol? Um, Daria Dimitriova. She is a really amazing Russian gymnast and her routines are really funky and fun to watch. Cool. And are you competitive or do you like to have fun? like to have fun, definitely. And if you could be an animal, what would you be? Probably a monkey, because I think it'd be really fun. <laughs> cool. And what are your future goals? Um, just to improve, really. Um, yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. Up next, we have more of the rhythmic gymnastics, hoop and ribbon routines. And we have all the medal highlights from the championships. Thank you. 